Hey yo GG, welcome to my big year-end top 20 K-pop songs video. In this series I present you my favorite releases of this year. To make it simpler, I only focus on title tracks for my ranking, so B-sides or OSTs won't be part of the series. Please keep in mind that all of this is based on only my personal opinions, so if you disagree with my list, let me know your opinions in the comments below. And now, have fun with the positions 10 to 6. Number 10 8 by Ayu featuring Sugar. I know what you're thinking. Damn, he is kicking off the top 10 freaking strong! Well, you're right about that. But let's be serious. Every top list this year without the song in it isn't even worth getting called top list. These lyrics seem to take place after a nasty breakup. She feels like she has lost absolutely everything. What she thought would last forever turned out to be as fragile as a sandcastle, leaving her with nothing but her memories of the good days they had. One thing I want to highly praise here is the music video. The real life scenes mixed up with both 2D and 3D parts underline the atmosphere of the song and add another exciting layer to the whole experience that is 8. Number 9 Secret Story of the Swan by Eyes One. Now we arrived at the song with the by far most surprising and strange title in this year's end list. Secret Story of the Swan does not only mark a change for Eyes One in its title, but also in its overall musical orientation. To really grasp the story hidden in the lyrics of the song is actually not that easy. For me it sounds like the lyrics are describing a view on the world through the eyes of a person in love. Everything feels like a fairy tale, which outsiders might love about, but as long as both of you seem the same thing, you can live this dream together. Compared to previous releases of Eyes One, this one is much more heart hitting. It packs a certain impact that makes sure that this song is sticking inside your brain for a long time. I mean, can you really resist when it is time to mama? Number 8. Lovesick Girls by Blackpink. I feel like this group does not really need an introduction from my side. Blackpink has released a big variety of songs this year to make sure to please as big of an audience as possible. And what should I say? It obviously worked on me.
The song speaks about girls who try to tell themselves that they have given up on feelings of love, while on the other hand try everything in their might to force those feelings into them or their partner. What remains is nothing but pain, which has become something they don't just accept, but also need in their lives. I will be honest, in the beginning of the year I would not have thought that BP will be part of my year end list, since their current musical style is not really clicking with me. But Lovesick Girls made a 180 degree turn back to the style and sound that I have liked so much about them in the past. Number 7. Hands Up by Cherry Pit. So, are you ready to get hit by this bullet? I present you one of, if not the, most underrated group in this entire list. Cherry Bullet has been releasing nothing but amazing, top quality songs since debut, but there are still too many people that simply sleep on them. The lyrics of Hands Up are quite, um, let's say the girls are making it quite clear that they are 100% ready to party, drink and do whatever the hell is coming their way. Quite surprising for me honestly, but refreshingly direct and without bullshitting. <laughs> The mix of Beethoven's Für Elise and modern sounds creates a completely fresh and unique sound, which you can find nowhere again this year. Both song and concept hit a sweet spot in me and push Cherry Bullet even higher in my favorite group's ranking than they already were. Number 6. Happy by Tail. Let me tell you one thing in the beginning. If you do not sit through this segment here the entire time with a big ass smile on your face, know that I am beyond disappointed. Because if there is a song that deserves the label Happy Pill, it is this one. Maybe you did not notice, but the overall message of happy is quite, well, happy. It is about a person getting excited since she is waiting for the arrival of her loved one. Once that happens, well, the happiness does not stop, but it is spreading throughout the entire night. So, am I the only one thinking that this is the prequel to What Do I Call You? 
Taeyeon, the one, the only, the best. The word disappointing obviously does not exist in her vocabulary as she continues to enchant me with her heavenly voice, comeback after comeback after comeback. And that's it! I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to let me know your personal rankings in the comments below. So now, thank you for your attention and bye!